Okay, I just double checked the price on this thing and it is now $179 on Amazon. Down from like two or 300, that's a good deal, man. Let's do it. Okay, let's get into this projector. 1080p native. This is the white one. I don't know if they have any other colors. Man, I'll be a savage today and just throw this packaging all over the place because I like being a savage. It's Friday, man. <laughs> it's Savagery Friday. Welcome back, JD Aliens. We are checking out yet another projector by Cybest. This one actually does look familiar. It looks very familiar, almost identical, actually. Yeah, it is pretty much identical to the uh, Vankio V600. I, I think that's what it's called. And that was a good projector, but this one, I think it has some slight differences here. So let's go ahead and check out this stuff on the back. Get in here, man, you're too far away. Come on, come on, come on, there you go. Okay, so we got the VGA, and this is that uh, IR input. You got dual USB inputs here, and you have two uh, HDMI ports right there. This looks to be a speaker, is that a speaker? Yep, I think that is a driver there, actually. Then you got your power input right there. And things on the side, nope, just a fan. And on this side, we have an SD card slot, an AV port, and a headphone jack. All right, that must means we have some accessories in this box right here. Let's come around to the front. Yep, you have your uh, IR blaster right there, or IR input, rather. And then you have your lens cap. Let's leave that on there, because I don't want to smear that up before I turn it on. Let's check the bottom. Okay, so you can actually adjust this uh, at an angle if you need to, if you put it on a tabletop and it's not leveled out. So that is nice to have in there. That way you don't have to bust out the old school phone books or nothing like that. Or, you know, crumple up a piece of paper and put it up under there. Now back to the top, you got your focus ring and then you got your keystone right here. That is probably, I don't know, somewhere between 14 and 18 degrees just by the amount of movement I'm feeling. I don't know the specs. You can look up the specs yourself. I'm just guessing. We got a bunch of buttons here too. Okay, get in, man. You too far away. Get in there. There you go. Got some menu buttons right here. You got up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, A, B. <laughs> you, know, you know the Contra code. <laughs> Anyways, man, we got the OK, play, source menu, and of course you need a power button. Let's get into the accessory box because we need to interface with this thing and you can't do that without some accessories you got your AC plug right there and your uh, standard HDMI cable I'm really glad that they actually give you this like the HDMI cable because back in the day you remember back in the day you used to have to buy these things from like I don't know Best Buy Radio Shack and Walmart and they were like expensive now they're pretty cheap so they do include it that way you don't have to take a trip to the store then you got your uh, AV cord right here so you got your it's a 3.5 millimeter plug that goes to your video uh, and left and right channel. So you got your full stereo hook up there, some instructions, which I probably will not need. And then we have a remote that looks like it glows in the dark. Let me see, hold on real quick. Let me see. Yeah, man, this thing glows in the dark. Okay, let me charge it up, let me get it up under this light. Okay, <laughs> man, let's get this thing hooked up so that way we can see if it's any good or not. So color reproduction with this thing is actually pretty accurate. You can always adjust the image in the settings, whether it be the contrast, the color, and the saturation and stuff like that. It does have those settings. I'm casting this image from about 13 and a half feet away on a 120 inch screen. So that's about how far you gotta be away to get that size image. And for the price you pay for this thing, the image quality you get, we're talking about $175 right now to cast an image that clean on a screen that big. I cannot fight that at all. But you definitely wanna make sure you line this thing up perfectly with your screen because you're gonna have a lot of troubles getting that image just right with the keystone and then the focus and the corners and the center. Make sure you line it up as good as possible and then start focusing and stuff. Uh, that'll help you out in the long run. Huge bonus, I love having the glow in the dark buttons because typically you're gonna be watching this thing in the dark and you might not have remembered where the buttons are and you just need to see them. So the glow in the dark buttons on the remote are a huge plus. Uh, as far as the fan goes, it's not the quietest fan and it's definitely not the loudest. That's for sure, I've heard a lot louder. Uh, so this is kind of in the middle of the quietest and the loudest fan you'll probably hear on a projector. Most likely you're gonna end up hooking this thing up to a home theater or a sound bar or something, but just in case you don't have one, the one speaker that it does have is really good. Uh, you don't get stereo sound out of it, but this speaker really sounds good coming out of this projector. It's not tinny or too bass heavy or nothing. It's a, it's a clean sound coming out of here. But overall, I think you're getting a great package, especially at this price. I ain't no expert in this 
kind of stuff. But I do enjoy binge watching my shows on Netflix. Hey, have y'all seen this new show? Well, it's not new. I think it's like four seasons out right now and I just caught on to it. It's called Lucifer. Man, that is a good show. You gotta check it out. I'm gonna go binge watch my show and catch up so I can be ready for the next season. But if you had a good time checking out this projector with me, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today's your lucky day because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff.